All right, in this video we talk about the importance of getting palm up, palm down early in the swing, and we explain what the best hitters in baseball are doing in this respect. But a very important part of the swing is what happens from, from the time you're at toe touch to your first move. Uh, more specifically in this case, we're talking about the hands being, they, when you get the toe touch, your hands are more or less up and down, like this side to side, I'm sorry. So this palm is typically pointing towards the pitcher more or less. Uh, this palm is pointing backwards. So you go from side to side, first move, the palms start to go up and down. By the time you get here, typically uh, at connect or a little bit more, you're straight up and down with the palms, okay? But that doesn't just happen. You don't stay side to side and then all of a sudden the palms do that. The way it really works is when you first start the swing, the palms start that process uh, flattening way back here. If you do that, your bat will get to its lowest point back in here as it enters the hitting zone and then you'll, your bat will be going five to 15 degrees up, hopefully. Uh, if you don't start to flatten that hands, like we see with a lot of kids, uh, a lot of kids will drop that elbow and their bat, their palms are still side to side. And they're way down here almost to connect. Uh, by the time when you first start moving, you start to rotate those hands, palm up, palm down early on. Uh, it's hard to even, it's hard to, to to over rotate, it just takes some strength and stuff to get there. So you want to make sure you're focused early on. First move, toe touch. First move, those hands go from side to side to palm up, palm down. So what did we learn when we examined the top ten Major League Baseball batting average leaders in 2023? Well, let's start by looking at this swing here from Ronald, Ronald Acuna Jr. As you can see, his attack angle is at 9 degrees, which is uh, what you want to be, somewhere between 5 and 15. And one of the secrets to hitting is getting the bat into the hitting zone early. As you can see here, Ronald Acuna Jr. gets his bat down as it enters the hitting zone. In the next frame, you can see that his bat is starting to go up at an upward angle. That's what enables him to be a consistent hitter. As you can see, his swing went from down low when he first entered the hitting zone to up higher. That's different than young players. Most young players, high school players and below, are swinging down uh, into the zone early, and then they finally start to come up. Here's another angle of Acuna Jr. As you can tell here, his hands are side to side, and as he starts his swing, you'll notice that his bat will drop downward, and the hands will start to uh, move towards an up and down uh, position and when he gets to bat lag or he's actually a connection here he's almost completely up and down with his palms so then again just to recap on on Acuna Jr his bat is going upward and the main reason that it's going upward is he bottoms out early that's because he's got his palms up and down young players have a tendency to not get their palms up and down early which causes the swing downward Here's another view of Acuna. You can tell the bat was up and down. Then it goes, starts to drop and starts to flatten. And finally, about the time it gets to connection, it's pretty much flat. What that means is the palms got to an up and down position. So that's a, uh, the secret, one of the secrets to getting that bat into the zone early down low. Here's, here's uh, Mookie Betts. As you can see, his palms have started to flatten out here. Uh, so he's going to get that sweet spot into the, to its lowest point early on. As a matter of fact, all the players that we analyzed in the top 10 do the same thing. They start to flatten their hands early on in the swing during their first move. So, in essence, one of the secrets to major league players in hitting consistent is that they start to flatten their hands early on in the swing. Like we said, all 10 players start to flatten the bat at varying degrees, but they all start to flatten their palms up and down early in the swing. We recommend you make this a uh, high priority for your players. It's a top five difference maker. From a stroke ball perspective, we've seen a lot of improvement when young players learn to flatten their bat early, start to go from palm side to side to palm up and down.